We've been getting a lot of questions about dairy and whether or not dairy is bad for you. So it seems like everybody's pretty confused these days. We're gonna talk about it. On one hand, there's research showing dairy causes anything from acne to different types of cancer. And then on the other hand, there's just as much research to show dairy is amazing for your health, which is why it's always recommended as part of a healthy diet. So we're gonna head to the store, grab some options, and check it out for ourselves. So why is it that the research can be so conflicting and confusing? I mean, after all, when we were little kids, we were told to have lots of dairy in our diet. It builds strong bones, right? Uh, there is research, again, showing that dairy is good for us, but there's also a lot of politics and money when it comes to food. And agribusinesses, including the dairy industry, spends millions and millions of dollars to lobby for more support of their products. But this doesn't mean the research is all bad, either. So you really have to dig into the science and know exactly what to look for. And at the end of the day, there's not really one item that research has shown we have to have in our diets for health benefits. And dairy is no different. So if you're just not into it, it doesn't mean that you have to have dairy in your diet. We're here at the Nugget. Uh, gonna take a look at some different types of dairy products. Uh, when it comes to dairy, there's a lot to really consider, right? So we have organic, grass-fed, non-organic. There's also the whole full-fat versus non-fat debate. And then on top of that, you've got fermented dairy, which is supposed to be really good for gut health, too. So we're going to check out all these options and talk a little bit about what the research says. So the biggest thing with milk in general is the debate full fat versus non-fat. Which one is actually better for you? Well, their macros are going to differ depending on which one you choose. The research actually differs a little bit too. There is some research showing full fat dairy actually has more health benefits. But if you're really trying to keep your macros on check, the amount of calories, fat, protein, all of that is definitely important to consider. All right, dairy. We've got non-fat, 1%, 2%, full fat. What's the deal? So first, you want to read the nutrition facts label and see what you're getting, especially if you're counting your macros, right? Full fat versus non-fat, the difference is going to be calories and grams of fat. Protein will stay the same. Carbs go up just a tiny bit when you're looking for the non-fat variety, but it's not that significant. And organic is also important. You want to look for organic, grass-fed. There's research showing there may be more health benefits to these options than the plain. Mmm, kefir. So when you're looking for fermented dairy, there's a difference between the probiotics you're gonna get from yogurt versus kefir versus certain types of cheeses. Uh, some are better than others, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that too. Everybody loves cheese. And you probably do because it's actually, research shows, the most addicting food on the planet. Um, another fun fact about cheese, uh, so USDA has something called a checkoff program that they use uh, to take tax money from different dairy producers and give it to businesses to promote the sale of dairy products because they're really good for us. Uh, recently, last month, Pizza Hut came out saying that they're adding 25% more cheese to their pizza because dairy is so great for you. Wait, what? They say you are what you eat. <laughs> All right, it's a beautiful day out, so we're just gonna hang out in a park and talk a little bit about dairy research and see what the deal is. So dairy is actually pretty nutritious when you think about it, especially milk. 
Uh, it's a great source of a lot of different vitamins and minerals, uh, most notably calcium, protein. Milk is also a good source of vitamin A and D, but a lot of times this is added to the milk. It's not necessarily naturally occurring. Your best source of vitamin D is actually sunlight, which we're getting a lot of right now. So we've established dairy is actually pretty nutritious, but it's what comes along with that nutrition that seems to be so controversial. After all, dairy is loaded with hormones. When you think about what dairy actually is, it's cow's breast milk. So you're naturally gonna get a lot of hormones in there. And one in particular that's of most concern is insulin growth factor one, uh, or IGF-1. And this has been linked to acne and certain types of cancer, yikes. Uh, but this has also been linked to muscle growth. So if you're really trying to get jacked and build that lean muscle, dairy is a great food source that you want to include in your diet. In addition to the hormones though, there's also concerns around antibiotic use, cholesterol, saturated fat, and the research seems to go back and forth on all of these different factors. Well, it turns out the type of dairy that you're choosing can actually influence whether or not this is good for your health or bad for your health. Organic in particular, especially from grass-fed cows, organic milk has a better beneficial fatty acid complex, meaning you're gonna get less of that saturated fat, more of those good omega-3s. In addition, you're gonna get more vitamin K, and you're gonna get a cleaner milk altogether. So no added hormones that come along with conventional um, milk production, no added antibiotics, they're fed a non-GMO diet, so you won't get any GMOs in your dairy products. So you definitely wanna look for more grass-fed and organic when you can. What about full-fat dairy versus non-fat? You may have heard some debate over which is better for you. Well, there is some research showing that full-fat dairy has been associated with heart health benefits and reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. These are association studies, so they are not necessarily proving cause and effect, and it may not be the ultimate reason to switch from a non-fat version to a full fat, especially if you're trying to keep your macros in check because fat adds a lot more calories and you may not be getting exactly what you're looking for if you're eating a lot of dairy. Fermented dairy also has been shown to have multiple health benefits, all due to something called probiotics, which is just a fancy way of saying bacteria that has been shown by research to provide health benefits like gut health, improved mood, and boosted immune function. So fermented dairy offers multiple health benefits and fermented dairy can also block the absorption of cholesterol in the body, which is why it's associated with lower risk of type 2 diabetes and heart disease. So to answer the question, is dairy bad for you? Well, on this one, you're really gonna have to trust your gut, literally. If dairy doesn't agree with you, skip it. There's lots of great dairy-free options out there you can choose from, and we're gonna talk about some of those in our upcoming topics. But if you love dairy and you think it's a great source of nutrition that fits your diet, go for it. To read more about the science behind dairy and whether or not it's good or bad for your health, don't forget to read the article below. And also, don't forget to subscribe.